hello everyone and hello once again and uh, i'm here to give a tutorial on uh, the vipa vipa is an app that we use to do an online shop you get your payment through vipa you you can get your payment through vipa you can if, if anyone make an order you will get it instantly and you just um you just attend to the person as soon as possible the person can order through the Vipa and you get it on WhatsApp and a lot of things. It's, it, in fact, it is, it's more like the Jumia that we know and it's more like any other um, online shop that we know. Uh, I'll, I'm going to start from scratch. I'll explain everything about this Vipa. So we will all pay attention and listen. And um, then after, uh, I'm sure we will be clear and know how to create ours. So please, let's start with it so we are about to create an account i have an account already but for the purpose of this tutorial i'm going to give another uh, i'm going to use an, another account for this particular one so that we we, we, uh, we we have a clear understanding on it okay so let's go straight to it so i'm going to create an account so create an account then um, let me use this account let me use uh, let me use this account Okay, so my name, let me use um, uh, smart as my name, then I'll pick a password, good, so I'll create the account, smart is not my name actually, my name is Bismarck, but because of the, for the purpose of uh, what we are doing, that's why I'm using smart. Now, so it is opened, now we are about to set up our business, so... Uh, business name the business that so I'll make it smart um, smart logistics let me make it smart logistics then about maybe we deal we deal in um, uh, farming product farming product uh, farming product let's say let's use that mm. okay so country Ghana currency Ghana cities let me continue. Now, uh, add the, we can decide to add the cover for photo here, or we can decide to do it later on. And it's very, very important that you add uh, a cover photo and also your, your, your photo. So let me just try and add a, a, a photo to it. So my recent photos, let me just go to my album. So let me use... Um, uh let me use this for let me use this for my photo that's my cover photo mm -hmm. let me use this for my cover photo mm. then my logo the 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 logo is different from the cover photo the cover photo is the one that comes up big and your logo is uh, uh, the logo is what people knows you of. So I'm using TD's logo. That is the the group that we are in, right? We are, I'm using the logo. Okay, so let me use this as the logo. So we have the logo there. So this is how it will appear. So I click finish. And and mostly it's 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 also good you use your picture for the cover photo so that the person buying from you. Will know that it's you that he, he's dealing with. You get it? Uh huh. So they said, uh, I've, I, we've sent you an email with uh, beardboytv at gmail.com to verify your account. If you have not filled it, we send it. Okay, so let me go and check my mail if I have received that email. Right? I think uh, I just had, uh, okay, I think I have received it. So uh, let me click on here and let me go back. Then let me go to my mail my gmail then let me go to getting your messages okay so let me go to beard boy account okay there's a beard boy account mm -hmm. so i think I, I i can see vipa over here right the promotion one vipa okay so that's vipa it just came in Vipa, okay, thanks for creating your account with Vipa. 
Mm -hmm. So now it said activate my account. It's very, very important you click on this. If you don't click on it, I'm sorry, bro, uh, sister, my dear. Uh, if you don't click on it, I'm sorry. So you just click here to activate the account. Now, when you click on it, it will, it will, it will, it will pick up your Gmail or it will open another page for you, like your account has been activated. Mm -hmm. So it is done. It's going. Okay, so that is it. So meaning, if if you after you click on it, it will open like this. After it open like this, meaning your account your account has been what activated. It has been activated, right? Good. So now we 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 will close this one and come back to the app that we were using. Now this is the which feature do you need to use most? Now these three things are all important. So you click on all three. You use a store. You use CRM. You use pool. So all are important. So you use all the three. So you click now. Yeah, you say who, who you, are you? Then you choose one of the following. Now is it a one man army? That is the one man business, or is it a startup, or micro, a, a micro company? Is it a small, like fifty to, uh, hundred to fifty employees, medium or big? So me mostly I choose this one. Yes, the one that I did I chose this one. So one to ten, and also you have to choose your category. You have to choose your category either education um cafe restaurant grocery healthcare software whatever so we we are we are dealing with um farm products so we will go with um it's not here so let's go for others okay so let's go for others and let's move on okay so we've done that too so it's loading you, you and you, you you have to have time for it you have to have time for it because at times it's kind of a bit slow so you have to have time it depends on network where i am my network is not that strong and it's also it's rained here i think yesterday also so uh you have to uh, bear with me now it's open like this so how do we work with it now if i click on the info if i had not put in the picture when we started i would have done it over here I would have put the logo here, then I put the cover photo here, then that is it. Now, b business name, that's Smart Logistics. We deal in farming products. Okay, so country, Ghana, everything is here. Now, this address options, in case you do, you in case the person come to you for your for his or her pickup, you have to put your address there so that the person will know that uh, where he's coming to take the item. You understand? So we will not put anything, or maybe you stay around, um, let's say let, let me take a place in Accra. You are around Kokomem, you are you are around Kokomemle bus stop junction. You have to write Kokomemle so that the person will know that I'm coming to Kokomemle bus stop junction for my item. You meet the person there, then give the person the item. Then that is all. Uh -huh. So after that, I think it's okay here. Then you click on okay. Then it will be saved. Then you go back. Now numbers. You need your WhatsApp number added. So you go to numbers, then you click on the add sign over here. Then uh, you choose your country Ghana. If you're not in Ghana, there, there are countries here. You choose your country Ghana, then you add your WhatsApp number without the starting two. So let's use a WhatsApp number. What number should I use? So let, let me try two four nine seven two three zero seven seven. Then you click on status, then you click on add. So the number will be added automatically. So that's the number. You can add as many numbers as you want. At times you you, you add your number and we will, they will be reaching you and they are not getting you. So make sure you add a number that um, uh, will be active always. Are we good? Good. So you can add another one by clicking here. Then off you go. Okay. So now we are coming to social links. Social links is also very, very important. When a person click on the link, the first thing the person see is a social link. The person can decide to check your WhatsApp, or check your YouTube, your Facebook, your Instagram, your Twitter, your TikTok, any account that you have, you can add it to it so that when the person, so that the first page the person's open, will see all those things, the person can check check it out. So to add up, you click on the add sign, then you select. We have a lot of social media handles over here. So you, if it's WhatsApp, you click on WhatsApp, then you add. So let's use WhatsApp for now. So WhatsApp, you have your WhatsApp link. You have your WhatsApp link, then you just come and put it here, then that's all. If it's Facebook, you, 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 you select Facebook, Telegram, you select Telegram, any one at all. You just have to click click on it and just uh, add your link. Now, someone will ask me, how do, how do I get my link? As far as you are on social media, you are on Facebook, you are on Twitter, you are on TikTok, 
you have an you have a home URL that you are oh, is what I'm talking about. You put it there, put your social medias over there, then you go you go to check your account. It will it will come like this. Mm, I think where's my own? Where's my own? Where's my own? It'll come like this. This is my math, uh, math account that I was creating. I do online teaching, so this is my math. You see, if, uh, I, I wrote, um, I, 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 I updated, uh, I updated my account. Then it came as, I teach math in a simple form. Click more details in the and watch the video free. Follow me on my channel. So this is my YouTube channel. There's my Twitter. If I click on it, it will take me straight to my Twitter. If someone clicks on it, it will take you straight to my Instagram or my TikTok or any other thing. And this is my WhatsApp numbers. If you click on it, you, you can, you can, you can, you can WhatsApp me directly. So this is my homepage. Before the person will go to store to see my works and chat and what have, uh, what have you. So it's very, very important you, you make a nice... Um, uh, uh, information about you on your first page because that's the first page that the person will click so everything needed should be there now let's come to domain domain is where the domain is where the name you want to use for people to know you see that you can see smart logistics 4n097 right the 097 can go out of it so that it will be smart logistics dot what's dot base you understand uh -huh. and if you don't want to use the dot what's dot base you can just go straight by going your your own domain and of, of which that one you have if you have your own domain you can use your own domain then it will just work automatically but i'm not sure we have our own domain uh, so we we'll use the name and what's dot base so after that if you, if you you have the smart logistics now and you can also if it is a two two sentence that you are dealing with you can you can decide to close them you will not put any hyphen in between them you understand then you just click on save when you click on save, if the name is, oh, see, see, you see, the subdomain has already been taken, meaning someone is using my, this domain, so I can also use it, right? So let's make a change to it. So, so let's make it smart logis, right? Because the logis, someone is using it already. So smart logis. So that one, you see, it came at detail successfully. So that is the domain that it will be, my domain that i want to use. you see it's up here smart lodges dot uh, dot base if i click on this one the 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 last one that arrow facing that side it will take me to the site straight and see what i have done so far so that's uh, smart lodges dot was dot base so this is what i have done so far to take me there to see now you see we deal in fine product i can write more over here this is my whatsapp number two over here now i have not added anything to the store so if i if i even if i click here nothing will come so let's go back to what we were doing and in case you want to copy the you want to copy your link you use the share you click on the share it will pop up something will pop up you will see copy link then you copy the link then you just post it post it on social media twitter all your uh, pages so that people who buys from you you can make that order over there even if you are not online the person will make that order then you just communicate with the person, then you just deal with the person directly. Now, for the CRM, let's skip CRM and let's come to the store. Now, when we come to the store, we have dashboard, we have orders, we have products, we have categories. The first thing to do is the categories. So you see, at times, you have, um, uh, maybe you, you, are, you are running a boutique. You have men's wear, you have females uh, uh, women's wear, you have children's wear, you have this, you have that. So all those things have, have to be in a category. So we create a category. So let's say, though I'm using the farm product, but let, let's use the boutique for, I'm doing a sample, so don't worry. So let's say this side will be men's wear. Men's wear. Uh, that's where the wear right. Okay, men's wear, right? So that will be a category. So another one, another one. So I'll have women's, women's wear. Also as another uh, category, you understand? So that when we are uploading the, when we are uploading the items, it will, it will, it will be in line, you understand? If the person wants women's wear, the person will click on women's wear and you see all the women's wear that you have. 
if the, if the men's they, they want men men accessories you if you click on it you get you can make it men accessories so that belt and everything will go there uh -huh. so that maybe if the wear is limited for only clothes you can make it men accessories you can go for kids wear kids wear you can you can also have a category like kids wear any category that you want depending on the item that you are selling you get it depending on the item that you are selling you have to make it in a category so that when the person goes to your site the person will not suffer to search for items in case you have you sell clothes and maybe electrical gadgets so you can also add home appliances right because we are not doing we are not bringing down only one item we are bringing a lot of times so home appliances uh -huh, home appliance so that one to be like so that your blenders your microwave and other things to also go there for people to also uh, uh, search and buy so that's the first thing we can do at our category side now let it save and let's move on you can open a, as long as uh, at a lot as you want but one more thing one more thing important thing let me go back to the info please with the with the with the info at the about you know don't write something short like this no at least it should be three lines at least this thing should be three lines here so maybe uh we deal in farm products like then you start condemn condemn uh condemn uh, 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 uh fertilizers fertilizers uh-huh uh, wheelbarrow you see you you list them so at least so now if the person open it at first uh, the person will say oh at least the, the like effect you understand it has to be nice now we are we are done with the categories now let's go to product now if you go to product that's where we are adding now you can see on top here that we have home appliance we have kids wear we have women's wear we have men's wear so what do you want to upload now are you uploading kids wear you just put it at kids wear if you are put uh, if you are putting the home appliance you put it at home appliances do you get me so let's say home appliances so you click on add now we have two types of we have two types of items you can post you said a product is unique and does not offer many varieties then you use the first one a product is available in different sizes then you use the second one so available in sizes like maybe uh, uh trousers you are selling menswear entire so you have the sizes 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, then you, 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 you use the down one. You understand? So that you, you, the people will know that you have these kind of sizes. But if you don't have those things and you have only one item, like a blender, we don't have sizes to it, right? Uh huh. Blender like this, we don't have a size. So we just go to, um, you, you, you just click on the simple so that you type the name of the thing. So let's say blender. Let's say blender. Then it's a home appliance. And also we have the price. Now regular price and selling price. So maybe the thing was sold for 350 Ghana City, but you are selling it for 300 Ghana City. You have to fill it. Then uh, the uh, description it's a, it's optional. So you, you can you, you can tell them hello. Um, you can tell them hello. We have three thousand W and. 4,500 W. Please specify the one you want. Please specify the one you want. Then you write it so that the person will also specify. So after you've, 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 you've done it, you just click on uh, create. Then it is done. It will be under home appliances. So now let's go back to our page, whether it is there. So now let's restart the page. Uh -huh. let's, let's restart the page and see. Let's restart the page. Now you see it is here. As the price was 350 and you are selling it for what? 300 Ghana City. It's under all products. If I go to home appliances too, I'll see it over there. But if I go to kids, kids where I won't see it over there. Uh -huh. So it's under home appliances. Now, let's do something to here. Let's do something. Now, if I click on the blender, now we, we have something that we can also do. That's the image. The image of the blender has to come. It's very, very important. So you click here, images. After you've created, and you, go to Im you, you click on it and you go to details, you go to image. 
then the image you you go to gallery then you 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 you, you select the item i don't have a blender picture on my phone so i i i, I will skip that so and you, you just select it and you save then you come to badges now these badges also help people to buy your item now me the badge i do is this so i i click on this then i badge so i will say perfect or i can say good quality because the blender so good quality then i create so now the badge is created how do, how do i make it work you see the good quality is there so i'll click here if i click here the good quality will be added to the item when someone is viewing we will see that now the charges let's forget about the charges for now we will we will we will go there or let me talk about it the charges is in case maybe the person wants you to send it to uh, send it to him or her the charges have to come here so you create your charges somewhere and it will come here so when you are about to upload you then then you select i want this charge maybe tnt 20 cd you add it maybe um this the vat or whatever you add it so that the person will know the charges to the item you get it maybe the person will pay shipping fee of this or shipping fee of five percent or ten percent you have to i'll show you where you add it so that when, when you are editing the blender you click on the one that will be suitable for the blender are we good so now i have i have i have created the i have i have created the badge so let's see how the badge will work you see when the blender came if the blender picture is there you see you can see down here that it is here good quality let's go to the page if that good quality will come so this is someone who has visited your page so he, he wants to buy the blender so he wants to buy the blender he clicked on your page and this came so he, you see good quality so is the even if even motivated to even motivate the person to even buy because of the good quality over there that's that's what we call badge that's what that's what we call badge good so you can keep adding your items one after the other like that one and also when you are and and, and when you are you have an item and the item has run out of stock you have to alert the page that the item is out of stock how if you click on the blender you can see here that out of stock inactive if i click on uh, out of stock it will be no no notified on the page that this item is out of stock you understand it will be notified over there that the item is out of stock so that people who visit the page will know that at the end of so if it be bad we will just update them it's also very very important i let you know so now let's go back to what again so uh badge i've done badges attribute is not needed now then i come here charges this is where you add the charges so i click here so a flat fee so i'll say shipping so let's say okay let's say a flat fee of 20 cd no matter if you're in accra yes yeah, so you go to create now i have i have i have i have created a charge i've created a charge then let's go to shipping this loading now if i click on add location char uh, charge calculation fee delivery you can also add this thing to uh to your to your to your product so that when the persons add uh the location that he or he he or she is you can give him the amount that the person will pay you understand before you send the item the answer what could do anybody can say man i don't know what they do so you you the person will not uh, you will not pay so that is it so now let's go back to our item and try to add the charge and see so we go back to our item you click on it you come to charges you see it is here s so you just turn it on then that is all so it, it, it will be added plus 20 cd will be added so let's go to the person's let's let's go to our page and see if it will be added here mm -hmm. okay so i have gone there if i am making the order if i click here to make an order i want one so view cut you see ship s 20 ghana city it will be added so it will be 320 instead of 300 you see the s over there 
20 Ghana CD. So that will be added. So whatever charges that you want to add to the item, uh -huh. you bet, if you don't want to add any charges to the item, just leave it like that. Mm -hmm. Just leave it like that. So let's go back to our app. So that is how it works. So now, so far for now, that's how it works. But for the payments, if someone wants to pay you directly on the on the page, this one is very, very important. Now, in Ghana, we don't do use Stripe. We don't use Razor Pay. We don't use Paystack. We don't use Flutware. We use it. Some, some use it. Me like this, I can use most of them. I can use... Uh, we can... We can, it says pay stack health business in Africa, especially in Nigeria, gets paid by anyone anywhere in the world. You understand? Uh huh. So, especially for Nigeria people, and also, so you mostly we use the pay later. That is when the person is sending the item or when the person comes for the item, a pay on delivery. We, we, in Ghana, we call it pay on delivery. So, we use the pay on delivery. Then, when you give it to the person, the person gives you your money. That is all. So you I will agree with the person. Because when the person is making that order, you get a message. Then you can chat the person. You want this item. When I bring it, you 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 pay this amount of money. And the person will agree. Yes. So maybe the thing is 20 Ghana City. When I bring it, you pay 10 Ghana City, making 30 Ghana City. So when you send it, meet me here at this place. Or you are coming to my junction. When you are coming to collect it, you won't pay the extra shipping fee. But if I bring it, you pay an extra shipping fee. Okay, bring it. Meet me here. You go and give it to the person. Then you take your item. And please, if you don't know someone, it's better you meet in front of a police station. Then you take you take give your thing to the person. You take your item. Then you, you move and you go your way. So that is how it works over here. I'm not sure I have, I have not answered. As I'm sure I've answered all questions for now. So since we are we are beginners in uh, using a uh, Vipa, this is the only thing that we can talk about for now. Um, uh, and also, one more thing about this is that immediately someone sends you a message and uh, makes an order, you get a notification because you have installed the app. So the app will give you a notification that someone has made an order so that you can follow up, see the person's number and chat the person fast. That's why I said it should be a number that will be online every day. Uh -huh. So that when immediately the notification comes, you can chat the person instantly, talk to the person that you, you, you made an order for this. Then we just we just do business like that. But the link should be shared on all social platforms. If you have friends, tell them, please share my link for me. I do uh, shop online. I shop, you can shop online. And people should send it for you. Then you, you, just, you, you are just good to go. So now one more thing I want us to do is that I want to make an order. Order on the same thing that I have done. So I'm making an order for the blender, okay? So let's see if we will get a notification that someone has made an order. So I click continue. Like we are assuming it's someone making the order. So um, I, 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 I click on order, uh, check out. Now they said pay later, it is text. It says that uh, total amount is 320. So I have to click on continue. So I click continue. Then I the person will type his or a Momo number. Sorry, sorry. Type his number so zero five zero 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 six one two nine seven. So that's the number who is that is buying the item. That's my other number, by the way. So you click on place order. If you click on place order, there will be a notification that the order has been placed. Then instantly you get a message. I'll get a message from VP that uh, someone has. Mm -hmm. It's loading. So, other place, you see, new order up there. You check up there. New order has come there. I'll click on it and we'll see. So, when someone placed the order, the person will see this. Yay, other place. Then the item will come. Then you too, you are, you are, you are the one who posted the item. You get this in your, in, your, in your notification. So, you click on it. Then it will take you to the app, to the where the person made an order. So, this is how it, so it is open. The person is unpaid. The person has not paid yet. So you see what the person wants to buy. You click on item, what item does the person want? Then you see the item over there. It's a blender. Okay, the person wants an, 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 uh, a, a blender. Okay, activity, no activities. Now, I want to talk to this person. What, what do I do? Then you click on the WhatsApp here. You see that you will directly talk to the person. Uh -huh. Just like that. So you just click on. Oh, shit.
Okay, so you just click on. Uh, so you just click on here, and it will take you because you are using WhatsApp, and the person is using WhatsApp. It's the person's number, so you can just contact the person directly and just start your business over there. So it's so simple like that. It's so simple like that. That's why I said that your cover picture should be your picture, so that the person will know the person is dealing with. But the logo should be. If you have a logo, if you don't have a logo, you can comment section below. And we can do business over there. I can get you a logo, nice logo. Then you give me something small, you know. Yeah. So thank you very much for watching the video. And I hope uh, it has helped. Uh, if you have any question, leave me in the comment section about Vipa. I will, I'm, I'll, I'll be glad to assist you. But please subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.